Hello and welcome to DayZ. You've probably noticed I've done quite a lot of this game recently as I've kind of really just got into it and um, as we speak there's already a player over there. <laughs> We've already seen a player and I've only just started playing this episode. Um, so already we could technically go wrong but it looks like he's moving away. It looks as though He's probably just raided that fire station as it looked like he had some sort of assault rifle. So, um, it's quite likely that he is a bandit. Well, he may not be a bandit as such right now, but if he's got a gun like that and he sees me, he's probably going to assume that guy's probably going to kill me for it. So, it's good he's running off so you won't have to worry about him. Um, and hopefully we can move on. Um, this isn't actually a big city where we are currently. I'm not sure where this actually is, I'm not sure if it's Electro or something like that, but this place here, I haven't seen this much people in any other place. Um, I think it's due to the fact you've got two fire stations, you've even got a church, and just about every building in this city is enterable. Um, so that might be why. Um, currently whilst I've been around here, I've been kind of looking around the fire stations but it looks like some guy's already just been in there so um there's probably nothing in particular in in there as we speak but i'm gonna head down there anyway um yeah again you'll notice i i have died since last one you probably if you've watched that episode where i do die you'll know why i died <laughs> i got shot in the head with a light machine gun um what was surprising about that is that i literally got shot once and managed to die. Just funny, that looks like a player. That guy just sneaking out of there, but I'm not quite sure. Just have to watch out for them. Um, so yeah, I got shot in the head with a light machine gun. I presume it was in the head. Um, but it's like a light machine gun. I got shot once and died, which was pretty annoying. And um, what was even worse is that I could have actually. If I had shot, and I, w I was already aimed on him before he shot me, so I effectively could have shot him and taken that gun. Um, but because I don't work like that, it was actually rather annoying um, that he shot me, when technically I actually had the opportunity over him, um, or advantage over him. But Ho-Hum, he's got probably a nice bit of loot. Having said that, when I played another character, I did see that I think he actually got killed himself like not long after um, so that kind of amused me quite a bit is that it, I'm sure that looks like a player but it's not it's like an army zombie or something not quite sure I haven't seen army zombies around here but looks like one just hoping it isn't a player, but they don't seem to be appearing as a player. Uh, which is fine. Although I don't really want to get killed by him. Uh, I'm going to see where we can go. Because I do want to go in there, but I know literally that is just a ticket to your death. Uh, but anyway, I think I will go in there just to make it a bit more fun. Um, but you've also noticed every time I do an episode, I only really do an episode when I've got decent gear, or like, relatively decent gear, otherwise I find if I've only got a load of rubbish um, then it's not going to be interesting to watch me just running around looking for a gun, or I suppose it might be because um, it would make a change might have done um, but anyway, I've got an Lee Enfield and a M1911 so I'm pretty well kitted out, unfortunately I didn't have much ammo for the um, pistol and generally I use that as my primary because shooting zombies it's one shot kill and um, in my opinion if the gun can kill a zombie in one shot then why do you need an AK-47 for example but obviously with an AK you've got much bigger clips and when it comes to killing a player if you have to for example i'm not i'm not like encouraging you just to shoot people for the fun of it but if it comes to a point when like i don't know there's some some of those idiots with axes who like start charging after you um then if you've got an ek 
they're not as much trouble and I am starting to get a bit bit nervous. Oh, we've got an AK. We have quite a few clips of ammo actually, that's, that's, that's nice. I think now I'm just going to run. Let's just like kind of get out of here before I get shot by some bandit who's thinking, oh he's got a nice gun there. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get out of here actually. That is my words of wisdom. If you find a good gun, run and don't bother looking for anything else because you've got a nice gun and um, basically don't let yourself get killed by curiosity basically if you find go in there and the first thing you find is an AK-47 with two spare clips of ammo and a full clip of 30 um, then why bother looking for anything else because probably just gonna get killed but at the same time I mean that other guy I saw him come out of there um, so maybe he didn't take this maybe there was something else in there although it did look like he was carrying a rifle of some kind but now we found this weapon it's like pretty likely that we're gonna die unfortunately uh, but we've got an AK there was plenty of other stuff in there but I didn't really want to stick around considering the value of what we've got. We don't need anything else. We've got an AEK. What else do we need? Only problem is th now is that I'm not going to want to kind of go after anything else because in my opinion it's just like I've got a gun now um, even though this is obviously considerably more powerful than some guy with like a Makarov but at the same time I've, I'm in a building and um, he sneaks up at me and shoots me in the head. I'm dead nonetheless. Um, so yeah, that's going to kind of put me off reading stuff now. Because this is generally a place which I like reading. Um, but otherwise we can move on. Because this is a b very popular place. Probably because of the loot you get here. I mean, you get two fire stations, military grade loot. You get a church which generally has all sorts of stuff and you have a supermarket and you've got loads of general other places which generally have food and drinking. So yeah, that's why this place is so popular. But at the same time, lots of deaths occur here. So I'm just going to actually take a look at my EK. Hopefully you won't get killed in the process. In fact, if we um get up and just move away a bit, because that's on these edging a bit closer. Hopefully, there's no harm from over here. What are you kidding me? There's no way you could have spotted me from here. Where's he going? Where the hell is he? This is one glitched up zombie. What is he doing? Come on, die! Stupid zombie. <laughs> this game is, like, is kind of not, it doesn't work in a sense, because <laughs> generally you could get away with that pretty easily, but um, unfortunately the game does have its problems. Um, and as you saw there, um, not only did he start attacking me from quite a far distance away, um, and the funny thing was, he didn't actually detect me until I was further away, so... That is annoying, but then at the same time, what was even worse was that he was like running around me in circles, so... Yeah, we just lost quite a lot of blood there because of um, some spazzy AI in the game, but... I don't know. It's just how it goes. Um, I've also noticed you can change to full ammunition, so that's like open fire, fully automatic. Um, but generally, you want to use semi. Um, I mean, obviously, unless you suddenly get a horde of players after you, um, then you want to use full and just mow them down no matter what. But um, 
generally in the army you only really use semi surprisingly um, because it saves ammo and again like especially in this game if it's one shot to kill a zombie then why not um, but yeah I'm rather annoyed about that actually that dodgy zombie which was completely glitched up um, but anyway I think I'll call it the end of this episode I hope you are enjoying these episodes because I think especially this one since we've got an AUK um, makes it like a bit more fun um, but how long we'll hold on to this gun I do not know it could be ages um, or it could be like half an hour after I continue playing this game that I die um, but yeah we'll see how it goes and uh, thanks for watching guys and see you next time